Hey everyone, I'm David McNeil and we are at RVX, the RV Experience, and I'm with Toby O'Rourke, uh, recently appointed CEO of yeah. Campgrounds of America. Toby, uh, where are we right now? This is the Campground of the Future. Yes, we are at the Campground of the Future display, which KOA has been working on for a couple of months to just look at what we do now and reimagine what camping might look like in about 10, 12 years. Fantastic. I mean, well, you guys are all, all over the place. I, right. How many locations do you have? Like 400? 518 right. as of now okay. across the U.S. and Canada. Right. Right. And uh, so you're a bit of an authority on what it might look like. Um. Yeah, we, we like, well, we have a lot of people that are in the business, right? So we sourced ideas from everyone on our staff to people on our franchise system and our company owned properties. Right. Because they're in this every day and just seeing how we can advance what we currently do. Fantastic. Well, and I've, I don't know. I still need a, I haven't been to a KOA yet. Uh, that's just because, like, I didn't grow up camping. We need to get you I'm, to a KOA. Can we? I'm in Denver, so I don't know. Oh, I got it. Okay, I can hook you up. Okay, uh, that'd be fantastic. The only camping I did as a kid was, like, in my parents' backyard. Sure. So, <laughs> I think that counts. Almost. Yeah, it does. It does. Thank you. It has uh, a tent, I'm sure. <laughs> so, well, I mean, that won't be one of the concepts that we're looking at. Uh, the parent backyard, but uh, yeah. what do we have queued up here? So we built out our concepts across five different landscapes. So we've got forest, coastal, desert, urban, and mountains. So you can, lots of areas and landscapes to explore and just look at some of the different ideas we have. This right here is showing us an aerial view of our forest campground. Um, as you can see here, there's lots of things to look at. Some cool things you can really see from the top view. Um, that I, we can dig it. Ooh, we can <laughs> dig into it. But uh -huh. these, for example, are really cool. These are little platforms for tents, wow. and the idea is someone could come in, load up everything on their tent, and then that rail is going to take them into the forest, oh away from everything. So it's a way to just get away from the action. Would that be rubber. automated, or you push it? I mean, like. Well, um, probably automatic, but yeah. no, I, you're not going to have to push it in the future, right? Everything's going <laughs> to oh, be that's technology. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got you know different sites that can be multi-purpose for for RVs or tents up here. We've got platform. We call these sky deck sites. But okay. let's zoom in and look at that one. Actually, um, it's pretty interesting. As you can see here, this is providing a, an upper deck uh -huh. to the RV camper, so they can go up here and have a nice fire experience as well. Um, and also uh, campfires down here, but you know maybe fireplaces. We've got interactive kiosks where you could talk to the camp host, order firewood, um, sign up for activities, etc. I could demonstrate yeah, um, something we're already doing. Oh, this is a perfect view of it. So this is our desert campground. And as you can see here, we've got these um, solar units. Right. These are actually shade coverings for the campers below. They provide dappled light, but then this solar array powers the campground and puts Put stuff back to the grid. So the cool thing about this is, is we actually have one of these already okay. in our Tucson campground. Mm -hmm. We've got one of these. Um, it's worth a company called Power Parasol. Oh, you're kidding! That's yeah, awesome. and it it covers three rows of sites there in Tucson, and very very popular because it's so hot there. Yeah. To have that that shade covering. So this, you know, this is campground of the future, but it's also showing you a lot of the stuff we already do on our parks. Right, and the, so. The idea is maybe we might see something like this maybe 20, 30 years? We targeted the year 2030, Ooh, I think. Okay. So we didn't want to get too far out there, So, yeah. which we wouldn't really have ideas on what 2070 <laughs> might look like because okay. everything's going to change. Sure. So everything here is very attainable in our models. There's some far out stuff. Like, for example, we or played with the idea of an underwater cabin experience. Yeah. There's underwater hotels in the world. So we wanted to play with an idea of getting people closer to nature and actually, you know, this could be the ocean, this could be one of the Great Lakes, right. but getting people down, really connected to nature, um, that, a real aquarium, you know, yeah. <laughs> if you will. So I don't, this isn't super unreasonable to imagine that this could happen. It's already starting to happen in various places. All right, so we've seen it on the monitor. You want to look in the goggles? I kind of want to put on the okay. VR goggles. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right, so I'm going to give this a shot here. Let's see, hopefully I don't get dizzy. Whoa, all right. Yeah, so our idea with the mountain campground is that we could try to connect people to nature again as much as possible, which is a key theme of the whole thing. But you see some cantilevered sites for RVs. Really this idea of you'd be just off the top of the mountain and looking down, right? It's all about the vista, the experience you feel being up there in the air. Mm -hmm. We also have some cabins in the mountain environment that are actually modeled off a unit that Cavco designed for Campground of the Future. 
We're playing around with a lot of things like opaque glass that might go light to dark. Again, oh. letting outside in, yeah. blurring those lines. Um, and then we have a, a camp store view there with a rooftop play area, um, group gathering space. That's the rooftop <laughs> deck of the store, allowing people to play around in there. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Campgroundviews.com had an idea of allowing people to look at their sites, whether it's in 360 on a computer or maybe we can integrate them in VR, and then you can see the availability and make the reservation right there. We always say photos and videos sell the experience, but now if they could actually imagine themselves in that campsite, that's, that's a win, right? That's yeah, a game changer. Yeah, that's I think awesome. so. Well, cool. Well, Toby, thank you so thank much. You so Thanks much for stopping for by. I, I got to stop with the VR because uh, I, I have to go actually camping now. Yes, you I do. <laughs>